Edinburgh Castle is a former fortress standing on Castle Hill in the old city of Edinburgh, Scotland's capital city. The fortress was built on top of an extinct volcano, which was likely active about 340 million years ago. Its boulder, known as Castle Rock, stands 120 meters above sea level. The castle is supposed to have been first inhabited in the 2nd century AD. Old writings by the Greek Ptolemy apparently refer to the site. According to an English chronicler, Abracus, king of the Britons, is said to have been its founder. There is another writer who claims that Abracus built a castle, but while these accounts are important, it remains unclear whether these references in fact refer to the actual Edinburgh castle construction. Evidence suggests that the occupation of the fortress dates back to the early Bronze Age or late Iron Age. There is also the archaeological evidence that the site was inhabited in the 1st and 2nd century after Christ. The castle is enormous. Those who wish to see its rooms will have to spend a good number of hours walking around. Certain parts of Edinburgh Castle are particularly interesting and attract tourist eyes for their beauty and history. One such famous point is St. Margaret's Chapel, built in 1130, built of stones and rectangular in shape, bearing a Norman-style architecture. It was reportedly built in the early 12th century by St. Margaret's fourth son, serving as a private chapel for the royal family. Bons Mog is the name of a cannon housed in the chapel's outer part. It was built in 1449 at the request of Philip III, who gave it as a gift to King James II. It weighs six tons. During a holiday in 1558, a 150 kilogram stone bullet was shot from the cannon, hitting the Royal Botanical Gardens, just lie over two miles from the fortress. We also have Crown Square, established in the 15th century. From here, you can see several points of the fortress's stunning architecture, the military prisons, and other important landmarks. Edinburgh Castle is also an important facility for housing the Scottish crown jewels, including ancient and historically significant pieces such as the crown, scepter, and sword. These are on display in an area called the Crown Room, in which is also the Stone of Scone, also known as the Coronation Stone. This artifact is especially significant in Scottish history for having been used for the coronation of all the country's monarchs. It was later used in the coronation of the English kings, Queen Elizabeth II was one of the monarchs crowned at the Stone of Scone. Legends abound about the Stone of Scone, considered to be a sacred object. As it is also important for English history, it was kept in a period in Westminster Abbey, London, until it was moved back to Scotland. Other highlights include the National War Museum, the prisons, and the National War Memorial. There is also the Great Hall, in which armor and weapons are displayed and where dances and dinners were once held. Its structure was completed in 1511, during James IV's reign. The building is also located in the castle's central area. Each August, a famous military event, called the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo, which began in 1950, is held on the castle Esplanade. At first, the event was attended by Scottish military bands, but the festival now includes military bands from other parts of the world, over time, the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo has become increasingly popular and is currently a genuine tourist attraction in Scotland. The event also features music, especially played with harmonica and drums, as well as a beautiful lighting display. Crowds flock to this military event every year. A further significant fact in Edinburgh's castle history is that, except for Sundays, the artillery general fires a shot every day at 1 p.m in keeping with a tradition since 1861. The firing event at the castle always draws a crowd of tourists. Back in the day, this firing would be done so that ships passing through the region could reset their watches. The castle is considered to be one of the world's most haunted. There are many reports of ghosts and photos that allegedly show apparitions. Edinburgh Castle is home to and embodies an important part of Scotland's history for these and other reasons. Edinburgh Castle is one of the most widely popular sites among tourists visiting Scotland. It is the second most visited tourist spot in the entire country, welcoming approximately 1 million tourists per year. On top of that, this is certainly one of the most famous castles in the entire United Kingdom.